Hi, family. I wanted to bring you guys a dream that the Lord gave me last night, and it's pretty serious. And, um, like my last, um, dream that I had of a tsunami, this one's actually about asteroids, uh, hitting the earth. And, uh, before I get into it, I just want to say, um, as you guys would know, I firmly believe in the flat earth, which also means that I believe that there is a dome. And I do not believe that there's just random stuff uh, floating in space that can get randomly sucked into our atmosphere and hit the earth. I firmly believe that if anything, anything that comes from the sky or, or rains down or will hit the earth um, is sent by Father God, Yahweh. Um, and in this case, obviously, um, part of his judgments. So, if you want a little bit more um, information on the flat earth, the dome, uh, how it would look, how it works, um, I am going to include this really great website. It's a planettruth.info. Uh, and I'm going to leave a link because this one um, directly talks about the dome. And it's called Operation High Jump. If you guys want, definitely Google search that. Um, there's just, <laughs> there is so much information out there that if anyone truly wants to find out the truth about um, Earth, the dome, God, um, his his sovereign rule over everything and his control over everything uh, how much the governments all around the world actually know and the great deception with uh, any um, space projects and space programs I'm telling you just do some research and and you will find it all but I'm gonna leave a link and this one is Operation High Jump Journey to Antarctica to find the dome and um, it essentially talks about um, the U.S. and the Russians and uh, what they were doing out there and essentially they were shooting off rockets <laughs> to get through the dome and they couldn't. The rockets never penetrated out of the dome and um, after that happened is when uh, they started making their, their fake space programs. So, you know, you make a fake space program, you get millions billions of dollars and you can use that money for whatever you want so I'm not gonna get too much into that I just wanted to put a little bit of a disclosure because I do not believe that there are rogue um, pieces of rock floating around you know and just it's just I just want to bring you what the Lord gave me so last night before I went to bed, I watched uh, Reverend Mary's uh, video, and she did, for the first time, it was like a live, um, a live stream. Anyways, this video was, um, on fire with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I watched it, and I was planning on going to bed after, and I couldn't get to sleep right away, because I was literally just speaking in tongues, and I was praising the Lord, and I was singing, and I was talking to Him, and... I got into the Word, and so, um, I was fully, fully protected, fully in the Spirit, uh, fully just completely covered in the love of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and, um, and so I know that, um, so I know that this was uh, from the Lord. Um, so, let me get into this. So, my dream was, um... An asteroid, I'm saying asteroid, but it was just, something hit the earth. Now, like, I don't know if it was an asteroid or meteor, I, you know, that I'm not getting into specifics of how big it was or what it was. I just know something hit the earth, and it was devastating. Um, it was devastating, um, it killed a lot of people, it just, it caused a lot of damage. And, um, in my dream, I actually saw a map. I saw a map of where this hit. And I honestly, I can't remember, I can't remember what it looks like, but I know it was shown to me. I know, um, I had a specific location that it hit. And, 
um, in this dream, the asteroid hit, and I remember uh, people were panicking, and um, shortly after that one hit, we found out that there were four more um, that were coming in, that were going to hit, and it caused a uh, wide panic because the devastation that had came from the first one was was so big that people didn't people didn't understand how anybody would survive another four um, asteroid hits. In fact, it was really sad because there was a part um, that I was shown where uh, people uh, were committing suicide because they didn't believe that there were that that there was any hope that they were going to live through it or that if they did that the devastation was going to be so bad that there was nothing they wouldn't have been able to survive and um i remember that was just like um it was just so sad it was so we knew that four more were going to hit and um i didn't see the four other ones hit um, what I was shown is during this time, um, there was a lot of evil that was just running around, uh, the earth. So, so not only were people panicking because there had been mass devastation, um, they were also panicking because, um, there was all this evil that was, that, that was running around and that was causing, uh, chaos and disorder, um, and then it switched to another part, and um, this doesn't usually happen, but I was on, um, I got on this bus, like I was driving a bus, and it would be like a bus, um, like a city bus, and I recognized it because it's a city bus um, of where I live, and where I actually um, jumped on this bus, and like to drive it. Um, is like literally like a few a few blocks away from me. So, um, so that was really interesting. So I got onto this bus, and I'm not sure what I was doing on it, but 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 I was driving. So, um, you know, I really feel like that part. Um, might be symbolizing because uh, a bus or at least public transportation takes place takes people places it, it it picks people up and it and it drops them off at different destinations so um i don't know if this part of uh, the dream symbolized that um the work in the spiritual or the work in the physical um that uh, maybe not just necessarily I would be doing, but, um, God's children would be doing, which would be helping people or moving people from one place to another or assisting them, um, assisting them somehow, getting them places and, 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 and helping them. Um, and then, and then the dream, uh, switched again. And I found myself, um, I was in the kitchen, <laughs> and I was with somebody else, and there was all this, um, this food everywhere, and, um, and he offered me, it was like it was like cooking, and he offered me food, and I remember saying that I was still full from, um, the morning, and, um, and then I was woken up by an alarm. <laughs> and um, when I was asking Father God, Yahweh, you know, the interpretation of that, um, I've had a few times in in my dreams or in the spiritual way showing me food. And um, he's telling me that it's symbolizing um, the Word of God. It's being filled with the Holy Spirit. It's being filled with uh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And, um, and so that was an important part of that as well. So I was already full. I was already full of the Holy Spirit. I had, um, I had already communed, um, with Jesus Christ. And so I was already, I was already full. There was no need, um, 
There was no need for me to eat again in this part of the dream, is what it was saying. And then I woke up. So, I just wanted to bring that to you guys. Um, my last video that I had, I put out about a tsunami that I saw about um, the waters receding and seeing a giant tsunami. And that was the first time I, the Lord had given me a dream about that. And then this is the first time that I've had a dream about um, asteroids hitting. So, um, I wanted to bring it to you guys because um, the Lord told me to just to, to put it out there. And so I know that everything he has is, uh, everything he has is due, um, is for his purpose. So I just want to put it out there as a warning. Again, I say asteroid. I don't know if it's an asteroid. It's something that's hitting the earth and, um, there's going to be multiple, um, objects hitting the earth, um, all part of, Yahweh, Father God's, um, plan, judgment, um, he's always in control of all, of all things, so, do not forget that, um, is there anything else I wanted to say? That's, that's pretty much it, I just, I really wanted to bring, uh, bring that to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and include, uh, Sister Mary's video from yesterday, um, the beginning is a little choppy because it was live, uh, but just, um, keep watching. Uh, it's really, really great. And I'm going to go ahead and include that link too about, uh, project, um, or operation high jump. So high jump. <laughs> I've been researching so much. Uh, yeah, project high jump. And I'll go ahead and leave that link there too. Because, you know, some of you might find that very interesting. So anyways, I want to bring that to you guys. Just a warning. Uh, stay in the Lord. Make sure you're prayed up. Um, stay in the Word. Uh, the Word of God. The Living Word. Um, and make sure you're just seeking a relationship uh, with Jesus, Yeshua. Because it's really important. It's really important um, to be able to hear His voice. And to... Um, and to allow him to guide you uh, for uh, for his purposes in your life. And I also just want to mention every day could be the day of the rapture. And any day we could go home. Um, but it's also important um, that, that you're living each day with Jesus. And in that way that you're recognizing if he's putting... Um, people or situations in your life right now or tomorrow for as long as they're here uh, that he wants to bless you with so make sure um that you're not tunnel vision tunnel vision on uh, certain dates because i'm telling you right now it's really easy to miss out on blessings that the lord wants to give you or is trying to give you when you're just focused on uh, one part of of what he what he wants to do for us, so um, that's just a little bit of advice. <laughs> Something I had to learn uh, the hard way many times. So um, so rejoice in Lord every day, and um, be grateful for for what he has what he's giving you, and 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 what we're going through because everything has a purpose. And, um, he loves you so much. So, um, I love you too. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, stay ready at all times. Um, spread God's love. Um, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great I am. Um, the one who controls all things. Um, he is amazing. And, uh, he can do all things. So, keep your focus on him. Trust in him, and um, he'll continue to do wonderful things in your life. So I love you all, and uh, until the next message.